Leo, welcome back to Shacey Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to our channel. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start doing pick a card first to see your energy here. What is going on for in terms of advice and guidance messages for you first. We're going to do pick a card and then I'm going to get your energy using our Zodiac here uh, tarot deck. Now, these are the 1960s and the 1970s, so they are now officially 61 and 51 years old. And they are amazing for those of you that are brand new. You can imagine, again, how many hands have touched these tarot cards. I got them for an, from a vintage dealer, and I was so excited to get them um, that I put them together just so that I could see if, you know, there were double confirmations comes out for any of you. So keep that in mind. Um, again, they are or have been extremely accurate. I've been so, I've been so like... <laughs> I can't even speak they've just been amazing anyway so if you want to um, check it out I'm also going to use them in the extended as well so for those of you brand new I always extend your reading that'll be available down below in the comment as well as in the description area what is going on please for Leo Sun Moon Rising and Venus what are the messages they need to hear for their highest good so divine timing whenever you hear these messages or when you are meant to hear them, okay? We have no control over the timing. Check your moon rising Venus signs. Sometimes I definitely get messages from my moon and rising signs. So you can check that on the playlist after if you wish to do so, after you go check out the extended. If this resonates for you, definitely leave me comments down below. I love to hear from all of you. Leave me um, a like, that would be fantastic if you're receiving messages from here that have helped guide you in some way. And that definitely helps others to hear these messages as well, which is very important. It helps me to keep bringing you these messages. And it's free for you to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Hit the notification bell if you want future, future notifications, okay? So, wow, beautiful. Focused intention. Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target, and you will make your mark. So Spirit's saying stay focused on what your ultimate goal is what your ultimate goal is so that you can hit that target and get to where you want to go, whatever that is for you, whether it's a job, um, a career change, a new business, a person, it's like stay focused on that, okay? And don't waver from that. Don't allow anybody to kind of get in the way of what it is that you're trying to achieve, okay? Next message, Mother Earth, you're called upon to help with environmentalism. So, you know, if environmentalism is something near and dear to your heart, then focus on that. Maybe you can help others as well with your guidance toward that. Next message, bodies of water. Spend some time near water, such as a lake, river, or the ocean to recharge your battery. So maybe some of you have been working like especially hard, um, staying focused that maybe you just need to take a little bit of a break here and go towards some water so that you can kind of like cleanse yourself and and you know it's amazing what it does when you get out in the fresh air and the water okay let's use the Zolar deck now I'm gonna get mutual energies between you and whoever is on your mind now or in the future we're gonna ask for mutual energies what's happening between you and whomever again is on your mind this can be in the near future somebody you haven't met yet uh, your hopes, dreams, wishes, fears, blockages, things like that. Okay, so we'll do that after. That's with our Shacy Prism Tarot deck. You can check that out as well in the description area. Everything you could possibly want is in the description area, including the free Healing Stone bracelet giveaway, which I hand make. So check that out if you wish to do so. I'm going to do the giveaway here in the next couple of days, maybe even tonight if I get time. Uh, but we give away three each and every month. So you can go look at the history of those. I have to get back on that again. I, uh, due to the holidays and stuff, we kind of halted it for a little while. What are the messages, please, here for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What are the messages they need to hear for their highest good? The newest messages for Leo. What are the messages they need to hear for their highest good? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Leo. Ooh, I love it when they drop like that. Okay, Five of Pentacles. So you may be going through some emotional or financial stress here. Um, this can be a breakup or a disappointment in a, a relationship here, a home. Uh, this can be financially, again, emotionally, spiritually. It could be both, okay? You may have learned or there may have been a breakthrough or a truth spoken here. This, though, is the sword of victory. This means that everything is going to come out into the open. You're going to become very clear here. Maybe somebody hasn't been focused on you or you have not been focused on them. Uh, but again, this can be financial as well. You may be, you will become clear about a situation perhaps before or has not up until now been clear. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Yeah, okay, so that's a sort of truth. It's kind of like I'm having this realization that I've been left out in the cold here or 
something is very disappointing. I'm finding out why um, this can be a disconnection between you and somebody else. It can be, uh, you know, maybe you're becoming clear uh, of which direction that you're meant to go. Okay, you could have broke off another situation um, or somebody is, you know, um, you're finding out about somebody else that is breaking away from you. This is your angels, though, saying with judgment here. For those of you that are brand new to tarot, judgment is a major arcana signifying major decision and choice to be made. This can be a new phase in a relationship, a realization, you know, this isn't happening. Um, this isn't working out and becoming very clear now, or you've learned the truth of something. I'm meant to go on a different path here. So it's about, you know, having that... Um, frying pan i always say over the head moment where you're realizing that hey this isn't working out this is disappointing i've got to pick a new direction and it's the universe trying to tell you that yes it's time for a change go ahead with your plans here and move forward here you're not meant to sort of stay stagnant so you're going to become very clear or the truth is going to be spoken about a situation or maybe you find out something okay this is picking the new direction, though, that is ultimately best for you. And again, sometimes we can't always see that. But let's go ahead and clarify the Five of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Pentacles here, please, for Leo? Why is the Five of Pentacles here for Leo? What is the significance? There we go. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so you may have some disappointment in a marriage, a commitment, or somebody you're hoping to be married or have a commitment or, or the next step in a relationship with here. Uh, maybe you learned about the truth of a situation here that somebody wasn't on the same path as you or you had different expectations here. Let's clarify judgment. Oh, my. Yeah, there's been conflict or some kind of disagreement, some challenges here. Could have been that somebody was juggling um, a third person for some of you, a queen of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Could be another fire sign or this could be you. This can be heated discussions, arguments over somebody or finding out the truth. I feel like you will become very clear in making a decision or a choice. You find out that somebody has maybe been messing with the finances. Again, maybe this could be financial. Uh, there's arguments over finances, career, or the fact that somebody was juggling more than one person or one thing. Either way, it's there's too many people involved here, okay, in a marriage, a commitment, um, Somebody may want to reconcile, but they find out maybe that there's somebody else for some of you. That's not for all of you. Let's clarify this Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Wow, justice. Okay, some of you may be headed for a breakup or a divorce over a third person, possible third party for some of you, but not all of you. For others of you, it's just a simple fact that somebody's been maybe doing something disruptive with the finances here and you're becoming clear that they've been messing with the finances. You want justice and fairness here. This could go for some of you um, through a, a divorce or separation. Hmm. Let's keep going here. I'm going to clarify in the extended as well, but I want to clarify justice right now in the five of wands. Oh boy, spirit does too. Yeah, I'm making plans for my future. I'm trying to figure out. I've got the whole world in my hands and I'm going to make a choice. I'm realizing that, you know, I, I have a new future here. There's too much arguing, fighting or disagreements or there's too many people involved here. I want fairness. I want balance. And I'm feeling a sense of financial loss here as well as disappointment over uh, this relationship, this marriage or this commitment here. Uh, I'm looking forward to the future. I'm making plans and I need to make a choice. So somebody's needing to make a choice here. It's like, should I do this or should I do that? And there's, it's creating conflict here because I feel like, again, there's been a blockage here, fighting arguments or too much drama here going on somewhere, you know, and it's kind of like, I need to make a choice. I'm becoming very clear. This is not working out here. This is not working out here. Somebody's really fired up about this and ready to move on, I feel. And it can be that somebody's just simply thinking about the future. But for others of you, it's like you're thinking about someone from possibly a distance here. Okay? Yeah, absolutely. This is a breakup or a disappointment or, you know, I, I expected things to turn out differently. But I'm becoming very clear that it's not working out. And I need to, I need to make a final decision here because this isn't fair and this isn't balanced. Um, 
And so this is like a breakup. This could be a commitment or a marriage for some of you. Others of you, it can be. There's, again, too many people involved. For some of you, it's a third party here. It can be. Okay, let's get the mutual energies. What are the mutual energies here, please, between Leo and whomever they're dealing with? The hopes, dreams, wishes, fears, blockages. Okay, so somebody's definitely focused on the future here. So maybe one person is and one person isn't. Again, not on, we're not on the same page. I'm feeling truck, truck. I'm feeling stuck. I'm feeling trapped here. This is somebody that, you know, is, it's like you're not on the, you're just not on the same page. So Spirit's saying here, focus on what your intention is here and, um, you know, figure out and find your balance here and make a final decision. There is a choice to be made here, either on your side or somebody else's side. Somebody's feeling trapped here is what I'm getting. Let's get some advice and guidance messages, please, for Leo. Leave me comments down below. Let me know if this is resonating for you. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I have Scorpio. I have Libra. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Taurus, or sorry, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. What are the messages, please, here? The advice and guidance messages, please, for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do they need to hear for their highest good for January 2021? So even though, again, Spirit's giving you these messages now, this may not play out for months from now. A lot of my repeat clients are, you know, find out a lot of things happen in a couple of weeks or months. Others of you, this happens like right now. So... Yeah, look at that. I just want joy and stability. I want to focus on my future here, my goals. You know, I have the whole world in my hands here. This is someone who isn't on the pa same page here. Too much conflict. It can be over finances or I'm just not happy anymore because we argue too much. Whatever the case may be. Or there's somebody else involved. Somebody else is finding out the truth that there's somebody else involved in this relationship that shouldn't be. Trust. There could have been a lack of trust here. Or there's just simply trust issues because, you know, somebody was maybe um, not telling the truth here, being honest here. And somebody is finding out that there's somebody else. Or again... There's too much conflict between family, friends, whatever the case may be. But somebody's been very disappointed in a marriage or a commitment here or some kind of a relationship here. We have the four of wands, you know. It's, it's like maybe one of you wants reconciliation, the other one doesn't. They're looking toward the future here. Again, it's about not being on the same page, not having the same goals here is what I'm getting. Yeah, so somebody feels helpless and hopeless. It's like I'm not getting anywhere. I'm not getting anywhere is what I'm hearing. So I'm needing to pick that direction. I'm needing to figure out my finances in which direction I want to go because I'm becoming very clear that I can't stay here. I can't stay in this is what I'm getting. Wow, heavy duty. Let's get a couple of Kipper. Who's affecting this relationship? What or who is affecting this relationship? Person, place your thing here, please, for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Privileged lady. It can be somebody who feels like they're privileged, feels that they, you know, deserve everything, but they're not putting into the relationship. It's creating conflict. Like, again, like I said, for some of you, it's over finances. Maybe they feel like there's never enough because it's somebody that expects everything their way. Maybe one person's, you know, again, feeling like this just is not a balanced relationship. Okay. One more, please, for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And we're going to head over to the extended. So in the extended, I'm going to focus on February 2021. We're going to do the check-in with the 12 zodiac signs. So Leo, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, Scorpio, um, whomever it is you're dealing with, we're going to do the check-in. And we're going to get the messages, okay? And also, I'm going to do the pick a card with the tarot of sexual magic. I have been asked to add back into the extendeds as well. So I've added that back in. And we're going to dig a lot deeper here into February. If I get time, I'll pull some of the Kiro Marchettis as well. Occupation. So somebody's occupation. So maybe somebody um, financially has gone through um, the end of a job or, you know, again, they're not getting in enough money here. It can be that somebody's waiting for the final judgment in a divorce case and it's created conflict. Or again, it's just plain old arguments over money because there's not enough and somebody, you know, wants more wants more and isn't giving enough. I just feel like something definitely is imbalanced here in terms of finances. 
um, and relationship here and it's creating chaos it's making somebody feel hopeless to the point where they they're making a decision here what should I do with my future here because this is not happening any longer it's not working so let's start digging into the extended remember you can flip it this can play out from your perspective or somebody else's um, that happens quite often. I pick up the other person's energy. Let's go ahead and start digging. So for those of you leaving now, I will see you next time. Don't forget to smash the like button, hit subscribe and notification bell. It's really appreciated and helps the channel uh, support the channel for free. So thanks so much for your donations as well. It's been amazing getting to know all of you as well in the personal readings. So for those of you leaving now, I will see you next time. Stay happy, healthy, safe and positive. I'll see you next week. And for those of you meeting me, let's start digging. We're going to find out where we're going with justice here and what the future looks like and we are going to start digging so with that being said i'll be right there namaste